Good morning, my name is Laurie and I am from Passionate Penny Pincher. I wanna teach you how to totally change your family's grocery budget. Click the link below, you'll be able to download your totally free ultimate coupon cheat sheet. All the deals I'm gonna talk about today Ever all the big savings we're doing, they are all going to be sent out to you. I will send these out via email to you. So click the link, sign up for those. You're going to save a bundle. Okay. Good morning. I, folks are hopping on. Guys, I almost quit yesterday. I almost quit. I was done. I thought I have told these people I can coupon and teach them how to save money. And I can't. <laughs> I just can't. And so I sat there I went to the Dollar Tree. I was determined that today was the Dollar Tree day to do deals. And I was gonna save some big money at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna tell you why I was horrible at it. Um, as y'all are hopping on, can you please tell me, tell me where you are from and tell me, oh, happy birthday, Caroline, to you on Saturday. Guys, tell me where you're from and tell me if you've ever shopped the Dollar Tree using coupons. Um, yeah, I failed, like miserably failed. And so I'm gonna tell you about what I did to redeem myself because it was bad, y'all, it was bad. You can download my totally free Ultimate Coupon Cheat Sheet where I'll tell you how to save money at stores that actually work. Um, but yeah, I went to the Dollar Tree, failed miserably. I'll tell you about that at the end, but then I went to another store. Then I went to another store because I needed to prove something. But before I tell you that, before I tell you that I almost gave up on coupons completely, I struggled and thought, what have I done? And then I remembered that I picked up free toothpaste this week and I got free free uh, dental floss and I got paid to buy chocolate and I got downy for a dollar ninety nine huge bottle I got a tide for a dollar ninety nine and I got loves for three ninety nine and do you know what I realized I did not need to give up I just realized I didn't need to keep on a Dollar Tree ever 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 again I'll tell you about that in a second but I want y'all to guess who's ready for some guesses so let's look and see what do y'all think I spent on everything here. I did not use any coupons. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm gonna do a giveaway. So first of all, we'll do a giveaway. Um, I'd love for you to share this video. If you will tell me though, I want you to watch what I'm gonna take out of the groceries and I want you to tell, I did not use any coupons. I did not do any special shopping here. I did nothing. I want you to tell me whoever guesses to the closest amount, the exact number or close to the amount before, I'm gonna say 11 a.m. today, we will pick one winner if there's two people who um, get it, we will um, we'll pick a winner from the two, okay? We'll give a $25 Amazon gift card. So let's look. Massive box of spaghetti. I know a lot of y'all are guessing. Guess this what stores. Um, a minced, jar, minced garlic, okay? No coupons, nothing. Two pounds of grapes. A thing of ravioli. A thing of tortellini, which would be great for some soup in the slow cooker. A massive... Y'all look, I'm gonna show you how big. I need some guesses. Um, this is a huge thing of peanut butter. It's, um, let's see, 40 ounces, okay? So we're gonna guess how much is in all of these things and whoever guesses the closest amount will get it right. Um, a jar of spaghetti sauce, some refried beans, some green beans, some tortillas, because my kids go through them like crazy. Um, a loaf of bread, three peppers, Look, these are nice peppers. Look at here. Look, y'all. How many guesses? Oh, let's see. I've lost your comments. Hang on. I want to see your comments. It's way more fun when I can see your comments. Thank you for sharing. Okay, y'all are guessing 3254. That's what I'm hearing for the guests right now. There's more, guys. You haven't seen it all yet. So you might want to wait because there's more. Bananas. Um, three pounds of apples. Some gluten-free, gluten-free penne regatta pasta. We got that too, okay? some honey, some gar organic garlic powder, not regular garlic powder, organic, some tomato paste, some maraschino cherries. I was really excited about this one. Oh, you know what I realized? I can't tell you guys what the amount is. Oh, shoot. We'll tell y'all at a, ugh, how am I going to do this? How am I gonna do this? Okay, this, these were a big thing. We actually used these last night. A big thing of um, paper plates. Just two things of Ghirardelli brownies. Y'all, these are the best brownies ever. Best brownies ever, and they were a deal. I was excited. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna do this without telling you guys. I'm gonna have to rethink about how I'm gonna do this giveaway. That was hard. I need some genius people on the giveaway. Okay, y'all, I did not use any coupons. Now, this does not include 
the stuff back here, which we'll talk about in a second. Okay, some seasoning mix, some jelly, some baking soda, some Nutella, not Nutella, generic Nutella. Anybody who, some applesauce, two cans of tomato sauce and diced tomatoes. some Italian seasoning, and pizza for my family, which we ate last night. Okay, so this is what I sang. I know a lot of y'all have figured out what store I'm shopped at. I'm sure a lot of you have figured it out. Let me come look. I guess I should put this up here so you can see. Okay, so that's what I spent, bought. I don't know how I'm going to do the giveaway. We want to get the most, the perfect amount. I don't know how to do that. Um, so you said a lot of it is junk food. Actually, there's bananas and grapes, apples, Peppers. So there's some pretty regular, normal food, I think. Um, yeah, so anyway, we, we eat garlic and I don't know. Um, anyway, some of it is not perfect, but a lot of it is pretty good. I'll make sure you can see the peppers, okay? So, guys, I did not use any coupons. I didn't do anything fancy. I didn't do anything. And this is something that I want to tell you. If you feel like you're overwhelmed with your family's grocery budget, oh, I see some really close guesses. I don't know how I'm going to do this where we're going to do the giveaway. How about, you know what we'll do is we will just pick one winner of somebody who comments. We'll just pick a person who comments and we'll do the giveaway with one of you guys. Okay, so I've seen some really close prices, really close. Okay, I went to Aldi. I went to Dollar Tree, y'all, and I stunk it up. I tried to use coupons. It was horrible. I had really good success at Kroger and Walmart this weekend using coupons, so I knew I could save a ton of money. But I got all of this. Hang on. I want to make sure. Oh, I think somebody just got the amount. And what we'll do is we will just pick a winner from anybody who comments. So how's that sound? Um, because, and we'll just pick a winner by somebody who comments by then. Guys, I got everything here. Everything. Let me see my total. Hang on. Let me make sure I got everything. Okay, yeah, I did. Okay, so $48.19. I didn't use any coupons. I didn't shop the sales at except for the produce. I did buy the produce that was on sale. I was crazy excited because this pack of grapes, two pounds of grapes were $1.29. If you don't have time to coupons, if you feel like there is no way that your grocery budget can be fixed, if you feel like you don't know how to help your family, y'all, I want you to find your local Aldi. If you don't have an Aldi in your area, um, if you have a Fresh Time or a Sprouts, that's going to save you quite a bit of money. Um, but yeah, all of that, what do y'all think? Do you think that's pretty amazing? I thought that was pretty good, right? So let's go through some of the prices because it's pretty impressive. The honey is 99 cents. The maraschino cherries, $1.69. Y'all, these diced tomatoes with green chilies, 45 cents. Y'all, that's the same as Rotel. You know, you and I know that at um, Kroger, you pay 99 cents for Rotel. I spent 45 cents, that was it. So easy. Organic garlic powder, $1.99, guys. So close, such a good deal. These Ghirardelli brownie mixes are like $4 at Kroger when they're not on sale. They were $1.99. Now, they are not the greatest deal ever. You could definitely get a generic one, but I love, if you've never had these, you should totally buy these. Guys, $48.91. Here's the thing. Couponing can save you a ton of money. Here's the process I want you to do um, with, with couponing. And someone asked if everything's cheaper at Aldi. Everything is not cheaper at Aldi. If you are shopping Aldi, you do not want to buy, typically you don't want to buy anything that's a store brand. So I will not buy my Downy, my Tide or my Downy ever at Aldi because your prices are always going to be high. I won't buy my soda at Aldi. Nothing like that do you buy at Aldi because if you buy a store brand item, it is typically higher and more expensive than other things. So here's how you keep on. Are y'all ready for the process? Here's the process. Write it down. Who's got a pen? I want a pen. Somebody write this down for me. Number one, when you're using coupons, the first thing you want to do is you're going to look for the coupons. There are thousands of dollars in free printable coupons all over the place. Y'all see these are coupons. Tons. So first you're going to print your coupons so you have the good ones, especially the high value ones. Then you are going to use the Ibotta app on things that are lost leaders. The Ibotta app will make things like these free, okay? So you're going to use your Ibotta app on the lost leaders. You cannot do these things at all these. So that's number, so number one, step number one is you're going to use coupons and Ibotta 
on your lost leader items at your local grocery store, okay? Number two is you are not gonna shop, my personal opinion, this is my personal opinion, you're gonna pick one store other than Aldi that is like a Kroger or a Publix or a maybe a Walmart, probably not a Walmart, um, but a store, my dog is getting into stuff, I can just see him. Um, sorry, uh, I need to put him outside when you guys, when I do live. So number one, when using coupons, you're gonna um, use your coupons for Ibotta and Lost Leaders at a regular grocery store. Number two, you're gonna shop your sales ad for produce and meat. Now, I will buy Aldi produce. I typically think Aldi meat is high. I think meat, Aldi meat is priced expensively. So I don't buy meat, not because I'm afraid of the meat, I know some people will say that, I don't buy Aldi meat because I think it's expensive. I think you can shop your store sales ad and you need to click the link right below. Click the link right there. I am gonna send you out your ultimate coupon cheat sheet. In it, it has prices for what you can expect to pay for meat and produce. If you click this link, you're gonna know that grapes for a dollar twenty-nine, I think they were a dollar twenty-nine for two pounds, is an amazing price. But if you don't have that prices, you don't know. So number one, use coupons on Lost Leaders and use Ibotta. Number two, shop the sales ad for produce and meat. So stop your local store ad for produce and meat. Number three, and this is gonna surprise you, shop Amazon for toilet paper, Tide, paper products. All of my stuff there, all the paper products that I like, I don't get them in, at Aldi because they're more expensive. Um, I know, Susan, why didn't I not remember the dog treats today? Ridiculous, you, I, I should have thought about it at Aldi. Um, yes, yeah, so when you, when you shop Amazon and we keep up with the deals, we, there are times when Amazon prices are lower than Aldi's gonna be anywhere else. If you follow, click the link below, I'm gonna send you emails and I'll tell you when the prices are good so that you're not sitting there doing it yourself. This is what we do all day long, it's super fun. Um, Linda, you said can we add stores to the Ibotta app? You can use um, that. Okay, so number one, somebody asked what number two was. Number one, use coupons on Lost, and Ibotta on Lost Leaders. Number two, you wanna shop your sales ad at a big time, big box grocery store for your produce and meat. So your produce and meat, then if their produce prices and meat prices aren't good, then go to Aldi, but don't do it first. Check Amazon for toilet paper. Number three, shop Amazon for toilet paper and paper towels. Um, also for things like toothbrushes. Toothbrushes I grabbed um, yesterday, they're cheaper there. Deodorant is sometimes cheaper. Shampoo is cheaper. My Pantene is cheaper. So you wanna watch those deals. And again, we will send those out to you via email because we wanna make it easy for you. Um, number four, you want to shop Aldi. So once you've done your kind of crazy coupon shopping and you've gotten the things that you need to do, need to get because they're such great deals, then you're gonna shop Aldi to round out the rest of your stuff. So some of you are saying, Laurie, come on, I am way too busy for this, I cannot do all that. So what I want you to do is you're gonna shop one store every other week. So once every other week, you're gonna coupon like a rock star because you are, you're gonna coupon like a rock star at your one store. Only every other week, you don't have to go there every week. Every other week because all the sales will come back again. Then make the rest of your trip at Aldi, or um, if you have a Walmart, they sometimes have good price. I feel like the Walmart prices are high. If you have a Walmart, definitely use coupons and Ibotta. Guys, I promise this helps. Also watch for deals on Amazon because you can save so much money there. Now, who wants to hear about how I totally ditched Dollar Tree? Okay, how many of you guys have shopped Dollar Tree? I was so sad, I have to tell y'all. I, I almost cried, I was so sad. I mean, I was really sad yesterday at Walmart, or at Aldi, or at Dollar Tree. I did too much shopping this week. I never shop this much, so um, this challenge for me, I will be glad when it's done because this has been a hard week for me. So I went to the Dollar Tree. Can y'all see what's back here? Maybe not. Um, I'll pull stuff over here. I went to the Dollar Tree and I looked at their deals and I wanted to win, but I didn't win. Maybe I won. So I went through their deals. I bought it, or Dollar Tree does take printable coupons, and they do take um, Ibotta. So I got all excited because there was a 50 cent off Ibotta rebate on Pace Salsa at Dollar Tree. So Pace is a dollar, that made this 50 cents. Do you see this little tiny jar? Can y'all see the size of this cute jar? It's darling, it's a precious little jar. But it is, let's see y'all, what size, eight ounces. So it's kind of small, right? So it was 50 cents and I did use my Ibotta rebate and it did work. Hang on, let me let the dog out. But yeah, I wasn't crazy excited. That was really the only deal. Um, then I did get 
some cinnamon. So if you need seed spices, you can get those at the Dollar Tree for a buck. I guess that's a good deal. Um, they have a coupon for the Campbell's soup, but it didn't work. So here's the thing. I went to go to the store to use my coupons, which I had so proudly done. I was all excited. I had another coupon for this. It wouldn't work. None of my coupons worked. None of my coupons worked. The guy had never even heard of someone using the coupons. Now, I know the folks at Dollar Tree. I love the Dollar Tree. So let me express to y'all. I love the Dollar Tree. I went to buy these. There's a coupon for 75 cents off too. No luck. It did not work. It totally, yeah, it didn't work. So completely didn't work. So the other thing I bought at the Dollar Tree, just to show you how stupid couponing at the Dollar Tree is, so I'm gonna make it clear, don't coupon. I mean, we put out a list of deals at the Dollar Tree, but I don't even, I can't tell you to go there because it was too stressful. Okay, so this was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. This has 15 sheets. This was $1.99 at Kroger using a coupon. Guess what? This is 80 sheets. Do y'all see the difference here? 15 cents for a dollar, 15 sheets for a dollar versus 80. This was a stupid, this this is not a smart thing to buy. Does that make sense? So, um, he, so he couldn't force the coupons in. The poor little guy didn't even know what a coupon had ever been. I think he looked at me like I was from a foreign planet. Um, and I kind of said, I kind of know how to use coupons. And I tried to tell him that, um, that, that I knew what I was doing, but he didn't trust me. So, and he was, and he was super nice. He was so nice. So what I want to tell you about the Dollar Tree is if you shop the Dollar Tree, go for things like this. Go for the cute Dollar Tree pumpkins, okay, y'all? Go for the poster boards because that is an incredible deal. That is a great deal right there. That's an awesome deal. Go for the cute little DIY stuff, right? Go for all this stuff. Y'all see these? Y'all see these? Buy these at the Dollar Tree, okay? Buy this stuff at the Dollar Tree, but don't buy your groceries at the Dollar Tree, okay? Do y'all get this? It's not that I'm a Dollar Tree snob. I adore the Dollar Tree. I am a Dollar Tree girl all the way. Like, I love it. But, um, yeah, these are amazing, right? These are the big, huge foam boards. Those are crazy that you can get them for a buck. They're like $9 at the office stores, right? So I love me some Dollar Tree, but don't go there for groceries. I really wanted to tell you that it would work. I thought this was a pretty good deal. What do y'all think? This, this is a good deal or not a good deal? It was a dollar for the big, huge 25 ounce jar of Comet. Thoughts on that one? I don't know if that was a great deal or not. So what I'm telling you is, you gotta learn your store. Dollar Tree's not the place to buy groceries, okay? Let's just, let's just say it. So now you know, I know. I hoped that I could tell you that it would win. I was all excited. I thought if anyone can do it, I can do it. I'm up for the challenge. I was sad, it didn't work. Okay, so let's talk more about Aldi. I will answer your questions. Um, oh, I did get these cute things. Here we go. Somebody says, the, this is a great deal. Do y'all think this is a great deal? Yeah, good deal on the comment. It is a massive container and I do love me some comment. Um, it is 25 ounces. It makes me feel like home because my mom always used that. These were, um, these ribbons though were a buck. They're really cute, really, really cute. Good deal on the comment, okay. I don't buy comment very often, so that's good to know on that one. Okay, so do y'all hear what I'm telling you? Go to the Dollar Tree for the cute stuff. Don't go to the Dollar Tree. Go to it for kids' toys, like, you know, not even kids' toys so much. Books, coloring books, things. Things for Operation Christmas Child, um, markers, things like that. But do not go for that other stuff. Okay, so do we have, y'all, tell me what y'all think, what questions you have. Do you guys want me to go through the prices of this stuff? I can tell you guys the prices here of the groceries if you like from Aldi. Hi, Starla, glad to see you. And y'all, thanks for commenting on my dog. Um, oh, somebody says, Jill, you said Puff's tissues are a good tip deal there. Jill, were you able to use the coupon? Because I could not use the coupon. They just would not let me. Um, Janet, your Kroger was suspicious. I hate when Kroger... Typically, okay, let me tell y'all something here. This is something we teach in coupon classes, okay? Here's a lesson that y'all are getting right now. Um, first of all, when you use a coupon with cashiers, you want to always be crazy sweet. You want to be nice and generous because you're a nice, generous person, right? And um, it's not worth ever not being nice. So first, when you use a coupon, when you shop all the time, you need to be nice. Then I try to look for um, cashiers who maybe look a little bit nicer. So I try to look for cashiers who look like they're, as long as I have am full of integrity, as long as I know that my coupon is gonna match my item and I am not cheating anybody, because I will never do that. It is not worth sacrificing your tech integrity for a penny. Just, you understand that. Do not set, sacrifice your integrity to save 50 cents on a coupon. Got it? 
I am not going to sit here and lie ever about that. Somebody said it. Somebody said exactly what I was about to say. Who said that? Kathleen, cashier profiling is what you do. So as long as you are honest, full, full, full of integrity, find the nicest one that looks like they're the nicest and be really sweet to them. I have had cashiers, like literally I had a cashier give me an entire turkey once because he knew I coupons and he knew he, he was like a young, he was the sweetest kid, Jonathan. I loved Jonathan at Publix. I don't know if any of you shopped County Line Publix back in 2000, like, 12-ish, but Jonathan was my best friend and I loved him. And one day he said, I've got this coupon for a free turkey that Publix gave me, but our family doesn't, um, he, he was a young kid, he didn't have a family. So he was like, do you have a way to use it and donate it to someone? So sure enough, I donated a turkey to somebody because I made friends with Jonathan. I love you, Jonathan, wherever you are. Anyways, um, so make friends with your cashiers. Be honest, be full of integrity, but do look like for ones that typically are a little bit sweeter, if that makes sense. And y'all do hit the share this button. If you know someone who could learn to save big, I would love for you to share this with them. So the last thing I wanna do, there's so much, I feel like I, this has been, I feel like there's been a lot to teach you guys this week, but I wanna do this last but not least. Karen, I agree, yes, kill them with kindness. As long as we're kind, it makes all the difference. The paper plates were $1.49 for this big container. Um, yeah, $1.49, and they're nice. They're like, um, we used them last night with our pizza. They're good, heavy quality, so yeah. You go to the season cashiers, Carol. Okay, so let's go through the last page, and then we'll talk to Aldi prices, because I forgot to do this, and I need to go over this. Okay, so how many of you guys see a coupon list on a website, and you're like, oh my gosh, what on earth does this woman mean? You don't get it. Give me a heart or a like. Do you guys understand how the coupon lists work? So this is an example. When you visit a coupon site like Passionate Penny Pincher, this is an example of a deal, okay? Can y'all read that? Can everybody read that? Give me a heart or a like if y'all can see that and read that. Can you guys read that? Okay, so, okay, you guys can see this. So where it says Pop Secret Popcorn, it is on sale for $1.75. There is a 75 cent off coupon it is available in the, do you see this right here? Do you see that right there? In the June 4th, 17th Smart Source Insert. SS stands for Smart Source. That mean it came, means it came out to you in the paper on June 4th, and that's where that is. A dollar off two, do you see those? So that means you're gonna pay $1.75 is the price. There's a 75 cent off one coupon. Your final price after the best coupon is a dollar. Does that make sense, guys? Because I get that question all the time. Let's try one more. You wanna try one more? Y'all are gonna be so good at this. Okay, ready? The ones with the yellow stars are the best prices. Okay, can everybody see this? So the bounce dryer sheets are $9.99. Do y'all see that right there? They're priced at $9.99. On this one, there is a, it looks like on this one, this one has been marked out. That means that coupon is no longer valid um, or available. You can see right here it says two dollar off one coupon. If it is red, that means you can print it. That means you click the link and you print it. Now here's what gets really fun. So it's nine ninety nine. You're gonna and so it makes it seven ninety nine when you use the two dollar off coupon. Do you see these words right here? Stacks with. That means you stack it with another coupon, right? To make your price even less. Then, what gets even better? You're gonna get um, it's a it's a deal at I'm trying to remember how this one work, works. You can see I have to read it. It's a deal at Target. When you buy two participating products, you get a five dollar Target gift card. So your price here is your total price after doing all of that. Does that make sense? Yeah. Let me know if that helps. Um, so definitely, if you have questions on how store coupon lists work, send us an email and we will try to help you walk through that. Okay. So let's talk about we're gonna talk through the prices of this. I know this is super long. Um, if anybody wants to ask any questions specifically, I'll go through those. You got that deal, you loved it, you stocked up on Bounce, great deal, Amy, I'm so glad you stocked up on it. I'll answer any questions, I'll talk through the prices that were here, and then I'll answer questions as I see them pop up, and we'll just chit chat. If you guys just hopped on, um, hopefully you have some questions, we'll do that. Okay, so this is Jelly, these are the Aldi prices. Jelly at Aldi was $1.39, a buck thirty-nine. Awesome price on that. Honey, 99 cents. Um, applesauce, six pack, a dollar, dollar twenty-nine. Danielle, I can't see your whole comment. It says, I don't understand coupons when you can purchase. I don't see the whole question, so I'm not sure what the rest of the question is. Um, 
I keep asking, I'll try to get to them. I'm trying to see if y'all have questions. And you may not, y'all may know, have them. This is $1.69. These were the cherries, they were about 69 Nutella, the Aldi brand Nutella is fabulous. It's $1.99. You agree to a point, Danielle. I wish I could see your question. I can't see, Ashley, I wish I could see that question. The tomatoes, y'all, these were 25 cents. 25 cents. You said to buy store brands and not Aldi. Yes, um, not, okay, so if you're at Aldi, do not buy store brands. I did buy the Ghirardelli. It is very rare that I would buy a store brand at Aldi. Typically, um, the store brands at Aldi are expensive, but I felt like for $1.99 this was worth it because I knew these are typically $3.99. I would not buy like soda there though. Pri the, um, the, the soda prices at Aldi are crazy high. So like if you had a 12 pack of Coke, you'd pay $4.99 at Aldi. You can definitely wait for a sale for Coca-Cola or Diet Pepsi, any like a, a name brand, your name brand, I said that wrong. Thank you, Anita. I apologize. I went backwards. So um, a, a, a name brand, sorry, a name brand like Gear Deli, Tide, um, Pampers, anything like that is going to be more expensive at Aldi than it would be at your local grocery store when you go on sale. Sorry about that. That was confusing. So yeah, your store brands at Aldi, you want to buy the Aldi brand stuff. At um, If you want name brand, do not shop Aldi. Just know you don't want to shop Aldi. Aldi for name brand. I will. One of the things that I love about Aldi, sorry guys, I didn't mean to be confusing on that. One thing that I love about Aldi is it's super, super, super simple to get through. So I can walk in and out of Aldi and be done in like 20 minutes because they don't have all the stuff. So you're not going to have 50 boxes of cereal. You're going to have like eight. Um, I wouldn't even buy, I would not even buy General Mills cereals at Aldi. They will sometimes have General Mills cereals. Sometimes they'll have Bounce. Sometimes they'll have Comet, but typically those prices are much higher than what they would be if you waited until those items went on sale at your local grocery store. Does that help? Sorry. I made that way harder than it had to be. I apologize about that, Danielle. Okay. Let's see. Is the quality any good? Yes, Kristen, I feel like the quality is great at Aldi. Um, one of the things, a lot of this stuff is boxed in the same places. Um, Aldi, now I will say the produce is hit or miss. So check the produce. If you're not happy with it, Aldi will give you your money back. I think they give your money back plus 10%, but I could be wrong about that. I know they give you, they definitely give you your money back. So they're, yes, yeah, Susan, their cashiers are quick. Um, but what's awesome about Aldi, like I felt like these peppers, these peppers were $1.29. They look great. Like I totally feel great about these peppers. The apples were, um, how much were the apples? These were $1.99 for a three pound bag. I think they look great. Now I'm gonna be 100% honest. These are their grapes. I'm not super impressed. I would almost take those back and get my money back if I had one that was close by. It's a little bit of a drive. So um, I feel like their store brand on everything else though, their pasta is perfect. Their gluten free products, amazing. Their, um, I mean, so many things that are, yes, their nuts are great. Their chocolate is great. Their um, vegetables are great. Their Nutella, their Nutella, y'all, let's just say their Nutella is great. So um, I definitely, if you are a person though who says, Laurie, I have got to have my Tide, I need Nutella, I need Barilla, if you are that person, Aldi's not for you, okay? So just don't. But at the end of the day, I feel like you're going to get really good quality, um, super, super, I think it's going to be worth it. The bread is super cheap, yes. The bread, where was my loaf of bread? This loaf of bread was like, how much was it? I've tried to write everything on here so I'd have it easy and I don't know where I wrote it. 89 cents. 89 cents for a loaf of bread. So, I'll, um, Sue, the, as far as I know, it's from America. Let's see. This is distributed by Aldi in Batavia, Illinois. Let's see what the rest of the boxes say. Um, it looks like everything is made in, out of Illinois. So, there you go. Um, somebody says our coconut shrimp is good. I don't buy the meat, but the reason I don't buy Aldi meat is just because I think it's expensive. Um, I can do better with my store sales ad, and I'm all about that. So I'll shop. Oh, yes, Lisa, I saw the fresh mushrooms. I almost picked those up, too. Um, yes, and Christina. Trader Joe's, actually, um, actually, the people who own Aldi own Trader Joe's. So if you are going to Trader Joe's and feeling like you're so super cute and trendy because you know that you're so cool, you shop at Trader Joe's, which I just think is a different climate of people there, um, you are getting the same stuff as the Aldi people. It comes from the same brand. Yep, Pam, all the same stuff. So Trader Joe's and Aldi are exactly the same company. When you buy the organic garlic powder from um, Aldi, 
you're getting the same thing that you would be getting at Trader Joe's, exactly the same company. So yeah, that definitely um, may help. I do feel like the produce is, um, somebody says distribution is different than made in. So that, you're right, Tana, it may, I, I'm not sure where it's made, but I honestly, I don't know where, I mean, let's see, this is probably gonna say, Common does say it is made in the USA. You're probably right. So, Susan, thank you for reminding me. This is definitely, it's so important to know your stock up price. So if you don't have the stock up price list, click the link above and you're gonna get that for sure. Is the meat great quality? Karen, I have heard only good things about the meat. I personally don't buy the meat because I think it's expensive. You need to have your store prices like Susan said. So I know that I know that I know that I know that boneless, skinless chicken breast, I'm trying to find the list, for $1.69 a pound is a deal. Typically, Fresh Time and Sprouts have it for that price, so I typically shop there instead. Um, so yeah, once you kind of figure out which ones are the best things to get there, you won't get um, that. Actually, you're right. Trader Joe's does have more options for dietary restrictions, but you know what? I have to say, Aldi is really stepping up their game. Yesterday I was there, they have a ton of gluten-free products, lots and lots of stuff. Kimberly said she buys meat in bulk. I think buying meat in bulk is a great idea. I love the idea of Zaycon for fresh meat um, in bulk, and I'm actually gonna order it next month. It's right now, the Zaycon meat is $1.59 per pound for boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I'm ordering my first box to come in October, so I'm super excited. Um, you buy your chicken thighs there for 69 cents a pound. That's a great, you buy those at Aldi, that's a great price. That's a, I think that's a real, I don't buy a lot of chicken thighs. I usually buy boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Jasmine, what about paper products? I feel like their paper products are great. Um, I have not, has anybody tried, I know I'm kind of funny about toilet paper. Has anyone tried Aldi toilet paper? I have not tried their brand of toilet paper yet. Um, I have bought their paper towels. I do like their paper plates. Um, I, I have not, I have not heard about toilet paper. So if somebody knows, is toilet paper at Aldi okay? What do y'all think? Yes or no, somebody, anybody? Um, what am I reviewing? Where are you reviewing? Um, I'm talking about today, Chris, we're talking about Aldi. Joy, you said you use their toilet paper and it's great. Toilet paper isn't very good, Leah says. Okay, so maybe we all need to go try. Somebody says the toilet paper is fine. Here's a big thing about toilet paper though. Toilet paper and paper towels, buy those on Amazon. It's gonna be cheaper than lo your local store. It will save you a ton. Carol, you asked about Zaycon. We will pop a link in for Zaycon. Zaycon's amazing. Um, they deliver 40 pounds of chicken to you. I'm splitting my order with a friend so that I only have 20 pounds because 40 pounds is a lot of chicken. Um, but yeah, they do an amazing job. Skip the TP, y'all are saying no on the toilet paper. Okay, I'm gonna, overall I'm hearing no on the toilet paper. Um, Costco toilet paper is great. Amazon toilet paper, you can get Quilted Northern, Cottonelle, um, Charmin, way cheaper prices than anywhere else. So we always do our toilet paper and paper towels all at Amazon for sure. Um, so kind of my way of shopping is I hit Kroger for my meat and Lost Leader items, um, like, the, like the big stuff like the Bounce and the Tide and the Bounty, um, Downy. So that's what I shop there for. Then I shop Amazon for my toilet paper, my paper towels, sometimes my makeup, um, anything like that. And then I shop Aldi for this kind of stuff, for just the filler stuff that you've got to fill in. Guys, the prices are incredible. You can't beat it. So anyways, if you feel like you cannot do this, like I totally yesterday thought after going to the Dollar Tree, I'm like, I cannot teach. I literally, we had it set up where we were going to give you a challenge to go to the Dollar Tree. We had the list. Like I was ready. I got there and I was like, I cannot tell these people to go shop at the Dollar Tree. I can't do them. I can't. I can't. So I literally like totally lit, nixed my whole plan because I was like, there is no way that I can do that. Okay. Best place to buy bathroom hygiene stuff. Amazon is the best place to buy bathroom hygiene stuff, I feel like, for um, that. How do I save on makeup, Sylvia? So I am really funny about makeup. I use Estee Lauder Foundation only because I've been using since I was like forever. Um, and so I have one certain one. I have to use the double wear because my skin sucks in the makeup. So I always do it when it's a freebie and then everything else I get like I get for pennies, everything else. So the only thing I spend my money on on cosmetics is my foundation and the rest of it is all as cheap as I can find it. So um, yeah, Susan, I was so sad because I thought I'm, I was, I literally came home from the Dollar Tree. I called Shannon and I was like, Shannon, I can't tell these people to go to the Dollar Tree because it is so, this is not working. Like this is not a win and I don't want you to go. 
for it to not be a win. Peggy, if your dollar, if your Walmart wouldn't take a printed coupon, if you can walk up just very nicely, ask the man, the um, manager, just say, may I please talk to the manager just to double check, say it super nicely, um, and see because they should have taken your printable coupons. Cleaning supplies, um, Kroger, Publix, any big store that has good sale items, and you just really want to watch for those sales ads. And when you have a great sale. Pair your coupon with the sale because when you match a coupon and a sale together, you will save a ton of money. CVS deals. Oh, thank you. I am so glad. I am so glad. Jill, you said CVS deals. And tomorrow, Shannon is on with the CVS deals, and you are going to have so much fun. The deals at CVS are so exciting. Do I extreme coupon, Kristen? I don't extreme coupon. I did at one point in my life. I We had a season where I spent about 40 to $50 a week, sometimes $35 a week, to feed our family of five. It was crazy. I was insane. It was all I did. Now that I'm a more moderate couponer, what I do is I go and I shop Kroger for the stuff that I can get with digital coupons and printable coupons, things that are on sale. Then I let that go. Then I um, get the rest of my produce. I either get my produce and meat at Aldi or Fresh Time or Sprouts. Um, so hopefully that helps. So I'm not too much of a crazy person. Somebody asked what happened to Dollar Tree. I went to Dollar Tree. They wouldn't take any of my coupons. There was an I bought a rebate for this little tiny jar of paste. That one did work. So I saved like 50 cents. I just couldn't tell you to go to all the work of saving money at Dollar Tree because it just wasn't worth it. Um, and I want you to feel like that. Yes, Marie, stores will take black and white printed coupons if you will take them for sure. Um, somebody says, Sandra says, ShopRite in Connecticut has great sales on toilet paper goods. No, Walgreens is another great place. Walgreens and CVS are going to be great places if you want to add another store to the mix. That's a great one. So, phew, hopefully y'all are inspired and encouraged. I, like I said, I didn't want to feel like I was going to quit today. But then, like I said, I went to Aldi. I feel like I didn't do a whole lot of work. I just want you to feel... I don't want this to be hard. I want this to be doable and manageable, and I want you to feel like you can save. And I hope when we put out deals on Passionate Penny Pincher, we do a lot of online and retail deals, and sometimes I feel really bad about that, but then I realized yesterday, I'm like, if you can pay less money to have toilet paper delivered, then why would I not tell you about that? Like, I wanna make your, I want this, I want you to save money, but I want it to feel easy, and I don't want you to stress you out. I think I went through a season when I was spending 45 to $50 a week at the grocery store. I spent about, at least 15 to 20 hours a week getting deals together, maybe more than that. And it was, I had no life. I did not love that. So this to me is a perfect balance and I think that's awesome. Are there online stores besides Amazon? There are lots and we post those deals all the time. Sam's Clubs and Costco for paper products carry. If you, I think you can get good prices there, especially if you'll wait because you know they have those seasonal sale cycles at those stores. So wait until they're on sale and then grab those. So. Tons of questions. Somebody says, do we have matchups for Food Lion or Giant? We sure do. Angela, if you go to PassionatePennyPincher.com, and this is true for all the deals, go to PassionatePennyPincher.com. Right there um, in the middle of the thing across the top, there should be a thing that says store deals. There's like a thing that says deals and then store deals, and on that drop-down menu, you will see those stores. So thank you so much, Kelly, for sharing. I just encourage y'all to really think about how can you totally change your budget. I promise coupons work. They really, really do, but it is work, and it's gonna take some time and energy. So I want you to be encouraged to get the awesome deals that are out there, let go of the rest, shop Aldi, make your life easy. Um, I hope that helps. Y'all, thank you so much for watching today. I will, be, oh, I won't be back tomorrow. Shannon is gonna be here. She's gonna be at CVS. The deals are rocking at CVS. Y'all are gonna love it. You're gonna be totally inspired. You guys have the very best day, and I will see you tomorrow, or I'll see you this weekend. Talk to you soon, bye-bye.